I'm back with my final predictions video and this is for the paper two physics exam. Just a few things to remind you of. Remember they could technically ask you anything from the whole spec here for paper two. So don't just concentrate on the paper two content. They could ask you anything and that makes IGCSE super annoying how they do that. The second thing to remember is they will provide that physics equation sheet. So please don't spend time learning the equations you'll be provided that in the exam. The important thing is to remember your units, whether that's knowing that weight has the unit of newtons or if that's converting any nasty units they give you in the question. For example, moments is quite highly likely to come up. And when you use the principle of moments, which states that clockwise moments equals the sum of the anti-clockwise moment, you need to make sure that that moment equation, which is force times distance, the distance really should be in metres as opposed to centimetres. So do be prepared to convert that. The other M topic, momentum, it's absolutely worth you practising some calculations. Do check out my last minute tips video if you're not sure on that. Increasingly, I'm noticing transformers coming up, both construction of transformers as well as using the various transformer equations. There could be kind of a longer five marker on renewable energy types, so that's comparing wind, solar, geothermal, hydroelectric. So do make sure you're aware that hydroelectric requires mountainous areas. You need a dam to trap the water. Geothermal requires a place where there's a gap in the tectonic plates so that the magma rises up. Usually the disadvantages of renewable energies is that they're unreliable. Wind energy, so it's only going to be turning that turbine if the wind's blowing. The same is true for solar energy. We absolutely need sun here, but the biggest advantage is here is that they don't release carbon dioxide in the way that fossil fuels do when they are undergoing complete combustion. I know astrophysics came up a lot on paper one. It is worth looking at the Hertzsprung-Russell diagram. Just make sure you're happy where the main sequence is, the white dwarfs, the red giants, and have a look at that X and Y label for me in terms of luminosity and temperature. Do make sure you've looked over what the difference between redshift is, CMBR, the Big Bang Theory. Static electricity is coming up more and more. That's mostly maths. Do make sure you've looked at the various dangers and uses of static electricity. Um, but yeah, like this is a largely maths-based paper, as we know. I want you to be providing equations when you're asked to explain something. Make sure you can talk about reliability. Make sure you can plan an experiment in terms of saying your variables, your independent variable, your dependent, your control variables. Talk about repeating for reliability and calculating an average. These sorts of things are really important.